Robin Freilich made her official entrance as the Michigan State head coach, she already felt at home. She remembers coming to the Breslin as a kid and playing during halftime. I mean, I remember I've been here as a fan, I've been here as a little kid, I've, it's the community I grew up in and I've marveled and watched the teams and players with so much admiration. So uh, yeah, it's, it feels surreal. A native of Okemos, Michigan, she's now coaching minutes away from where she grew up. She takes over as MSU's sixth head coach after the program spent 16 seasons in the Susie Merchant era. There's so many amazing connections and resources, and those coaches are, are resources, too, for um, continuing to recruit Michigan State. But, you know, I'm grateful for the momentum that they've created here, um, and now it's our job to keep it going. And where Freilich Ben success has followed. She turned around a struggling program at Bowling Green and won a national title with Ashland at the Division II level. Now she's challenged with taking over a program in one of the best conferences in the country. I know for the student athletes I've coached, when I was at Ashland and when I was at BG, those were full gyms. And what a cool experience for your kids, you know, where they know that they are valued and cared about. And to have that here and to continue to build that here um, will be a really cool part of our student athletes experience. She seems really awesome. She seems so positive. She's grateful to be here and I think we're really grateful to see her here. Um, and just her style of play and who she seems to be with first impressions. I mean, there's nothing but positive things to say about her. And I'm really excited and for our team to get to know her and keep going with her. MSU Athletic Director Alan Haller says the search was down to three finalists, but after taking a trip to watch Freilich coach at Bowling Green, it didn't take long to figure out that she was the woman for the job. When I looked at the criteria that the student athletes put together, and they were up tempo, they were aggressive, very few turnovers, um, they looked like they were having fun, uh, they were high fiving each other. Um, Robin was active on the sidelines, and uh, those are the things that they said they wanted. While conducting the coaching search, Howler even enlisted the help of Tom Izzo. He asked the longtime men's basketball coach to do some digging and use his college basketball connections to learn a little bit more about Freilich. And he came back with nothing but raving reviews. Reporting in East Lansing, Marley Weirda, News 8.